I'm Janet Woodcock and I'm director of the Center for Drug Evaluation and Research at the Food and Drug Administration. Well, FDA has multiple mechanisms to expedite drug development, including a fast track uh, designation, accelerated approval, and also priority review. And people are mixing these up with the new designation, which is breakthrough therapy and they are quite different. FDA plans to issue a guidance that explains and um, separates these various programs so people understand what they're for. Breakthrough was passed in the recent FDA Safety and Innovation Act and it asks us to designate drugs as breakthrough therapies that show preliminary clinical information that sh show that these drugs may in fact be a breakthrough in a certain disease. In other words, a game-changing intervention. And we've had a lot of interest in this. We have now 45 applications for breakthrough therapy. So obviously the companies understand uh, what we're doing here. This is different than the other um, designations. For example, fast track is simply when you're studying a disease that's serious and life-threatening, then you can get into the fast track program. Breakthrough is where you see early clinical data that suggests this is a game-changing treatment for a serious life-threatening disease that doesn't have adequate therapy. And if, if a designation is given, then FDA is going to do everything we can. We call it our all-hands-on-deck approach to move that treatment along, to get it further assessed, to make sure that preliminary clinical data are in fact true to look at the safety profile and to accelerate the manufacturing so it can get into the hands of doctors and patients as soon as possible. Well, this is a transition uh, issue because breakthrough wasn't available earlier for drugs that are now in the late phases of development. Um, breakthrough designation that will get the FDA's attention on things like manufacturing and hopefully we can provide additional meetings and help to the company as they move through uh, the application process. Well, um, breakthrough designations have been given across a wide range of diseases. In fact, it's quite exciting and unexpected. Uh, we're seeing breakthroughs in, in infectious disease, dermatology, uh, rare genetic diseases, but particularly we are seeing a lot of designations in cancer. And this is because the new targeted cancer therapies are highly effective in subgroups of patients with cancer. And this is really part of the payoff of the long uh, war on cancer, the biomedical research that's finally uncovering the genetic uh, mutations that drive cancers and helping uh, us create interventions that interfere with that. Well, it's neither a long shot nor a certainty. You know, we're running maybe a little under 50-50 as far as applications and the ones that we designate. Don't forget, a drug that doesn't get a designation doesn't mean it is not going to be a useful drug or maybe a priority drug. It just may mean that the preliminary clinical data that have been uh, gathered so far have, don't hit it out of the ballpark. So um, that's, you know, so uh, I think when we issue guidance and explain more what the criteria are for breakthrough and how we're implementing this program, we get a little bit more experience under our belt, then companies will have a better idea of the kind of data that are needed.